you happen to be following along with my TF2 mapping tutorial in 2024 or later and realize the ABS pack is much more complicated to install than it used to be? Well, here's a quick tutorial to get you up and running. With the recent 64-bit update, a few things have changed in the file structure and it unfortunately broke the easy installer for the pack. But good news! Manually installing it is only a few steps which we can get through together. Teamwork! First, download the ABS pack zip file from TF2 Maps, there's a link in the description, and extract the contents of the folder wherever you want. It doesn't matter, we're going to be moving all this later. Just keep track of where you set all of it. After extracting, you want to open the included FGD folder that came with the pack and copy tf-abs.fgd. We're going to then navigate to your Steam folder, wherever you installed it, go to Steam Apps, Common, Team Fortress 2, and Bin, and then paste the file here. We'll also need to remember this spot for a later step. Next, open the Library VMFs folder. These are useful files, although a bit outdated, that can be opened in Hammer to show you various props and different game modes that you can copy from. These aren't needed for the pack to function, but they are handy to have. You'll put these wherever you plan on storing your map files. Personally, I put them into Steam Apps, Common, Team Fortress 2, TF, Map Source. Next, we're going to copy the entire Prefabs folder in the Resource Pack. This will be a bunch of handy tools to use in Hammer in the future. This folder will be copied and placed into Steam Apps, Common, Team Fortress 2, bin, x64. Please take note of the x64 part of this, as this is essential for the functionality in our modern 64-bit hammer existence. Now, the last folder included in the pack, TF. Almost there! This folder can be copied as is right from this point here. Just copy the whole thing. Now navigate to Steam Apps, Common, Team Fortress 2, and you'll see a TF folder already there. Paste your TF folder here on top of it, allowing it to merge together. This is all the assets that the ABS pack uses, like materials, icons, and the iconic engineer spawn point. Finally, open Hammer. I'm personally using Hammer++, but everything applies the same to Stock Hammer as well. On the top toolbar, select Tools, and click Options. Go to the Game Configurations tab. This is where you'll tell Hammer to utilize the ABS pack. Under Game Data Files, you should see tf.fgd listed. This is the basic functionality of telling Hammer to work with TF2. Click Add on the right and navigate to Steam Apps, Common, Team Fortress 2, Bin. In here, you'll want to select the tf-abs.fgd that you placed in here earlier and click Open. Your Game Data Files window should now look like this. If you're missing the tf.fgd for whatever reason, you can click Add again and select it in the same folder as the previous step. From there, give Hammer a quick restart and you should now have the ABS pack installed. If you'd like to verify that it's working, load up a newer existing map, Drop an entity and change it to info underscore player underscore team spawn. If you're now staring into the uncaring block lighted gaze of the two teamed engineer, you have successfully installed the pack and are ready to continue on with my tutorial series. As always, huge shout out to Agent Maxwell Allison and all of these other nerds for their support. If you'd like to join them and get to see some of my secret projects before anyone else, as well as other perks, please consider supporting me on Patreon. Happy mapping!